That feel good? Mm. Flavored oils. This one's apple cinnamon. Nice. Want a lick? No, thanks. You sure? Tastes kind of like oily pie. I'll pass. Okay, more for me. You know, I appreciate this, but I don't think it's going to solve my back problems. Well, not right away. But if we do this enough, who knows? You might feel so much better, you'll want bigger boobs. I don't think so, Charlie. Fair enough. I want them bigger, you want them smaller. So we'll compromise and leave them just the way they are. God, I love that we can talk these things out. I made an appointment for a consultation with a plastic surgeon. What? The more I think about it, the more I think Alan's right. No, 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 Alan's never right. Ask anybody. He's like an idiot savant without the savant part. I'm hoping you'll come with me for support. Hey, you can always count on me for support. I love you for who you are, not the size of your breasts. Thank you. Of course, it goes both ways, you know? One of these days, I'm gonna need you to love me for who I am, despite my old man balls. Old man balls? They get long, baby. <laughs> hey, don't throw away your D-cup bras. We may be able to repurpose them. Hi, Mom. Oh, Alan. To what do I owe this unannounced and inconvenient pleasure? Just hoping to ask for a favor. I see. Tell me that there's a severed head in that bag and you want me to hide it. Nope, just socks and underwear. How many pair? <laughs> Come on, Mom, don't make me beg. <sighs> All right, you know where the guest room is. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Not unless you want to talk to my gentleman friend. I was joking, Edgar, don't stop. <laughs> Good night, Alan. Hi, Mom. Edgar. <laughs> Lord, you've blessed me with a lot. Man, man.